Good morning. It is 8.30 here or something. Uh, I'm kind of a slow morning, I guess. Just getting ready. I need to wash up, wash my face, and like do my face care. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, I have one, two, three, like five dogs right now, I think five, five dogs. Getting one more tonight. And then I will have four more coming Wednesday. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of work, <laughs> but it's okay. Cause totally used to it. There's like, now that I've been doing it for years, I definitely have like my own system down. But yeah, I have to get ready for the day. Walter, he's still sleeping and Haley, she just went down for her first nap. So I wash my face, wash my face and get ready. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty good so far, I'd say. Um, today I have to do meal prep, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to make just like, um, kind of like last time, kind of, but just like a burger, right? Burger, I might do like burger and potatoes. And then I'll do rice and chicken this time. Because last time it was pretty good actually. But yeah. I just gotta be like more disciplined on my days off. Like, so like Walter's dad, he works most of the week. And then he comes back for like a couple of days and it's just like on those days like this week we made cookies and then we ate out a couple times so it's kind of hard on those days because um I kind of just want to be careless and not Um, not stick to a strict diet. So, yeah, I gotta get better at that because it's just like this past week. What did we have? Oh, yeah, the first night we had pizza, and for some reason, I don't know, I've been really into pizza. Like, I don't know if it's cause like I'm breastfeeding and like maybe, I don't know. Like sometimes I just feel like hungry, even though like I probably shouldn't be hungry, but my body's just telling me I'm hungry. And I guess it's okay, but I just want to lose the weight. <laughs> and I don't know. Maybe I'm just like rushing myself because I have lost some weight and that's good. I'm sure if I was working out like as actively as I was before because like this time, well not this time a year ago because I was probably pregnant, but I don't know, like two years ago I was constantly working out I had to work out at least like an hour a day I'd say at least six to seven days a week and I really liked it <clears throat> just because it like helped me decompress and relax but then at the same time there's things that come out with working out that I you know um, sometimes during the day it was just like I felt tired because my body was sore from working out but <clears throat> yeah I kind of want to get back into it like the other day 
I started um, doing some straight leg deadlifts in the garage and then just working with like dumbbells, like uh, just like bicep, tricep, and then uh, some rows, like rows with the uh, dumbbells. <coughs> but it didn't last that long because, uh, yeah, my daughter woke up and then I had to, you know, go get her. So it's just kind of like, it's harder because when I do want to work out, I'll start to work out. And then like something happens like either my son wants my attention or my daughter ends up waking up from her nap. So yeah. No. Eh, it'll all work itself out. I'm sure when she's like older or like maybe when she goes over to her dad's for a longer period of time and I actually can prioritize like a workout, it'll be better. But no. <clears throat> Anyways, so the goal today is to, well, I'm taking care of the dogs, which is, you know, pretty easy. I got that figured out. But the goal today is to meal prep. So I think I'm gonna do like a, the garlic chicken parm with, I don't know, I might do, yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna do. The garlic chicken parm with potatoes, like baked potatoes. I seen this recipe on somebody's page the other day on Facebook. It looked pretty good. And then, um, I'm going to do burger with like the Asian sauce. So I think that's what I'll do. I picked this up the other day. It's like a moisturizer lotion with sunscreen because yeah, sun exposure on the face is not good for, uh, aging. <laughs> don't want that. Who wants their face to look old and wrinkly? It's just like inevitable at this point, but still. I was thinking about dyeing my hair this past week. I actually cut my hair, but I don't know. I was cutting my hair and I was just like, maybe I should dye my hair, but I'm not gonna do it just yet. No. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'll do another, I'll add my cooking to this video. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this week has been pretty good. Pretty good. My son has been like obsessed with wanting to uh, put out the Christmas decorations. <laughs> I couldn't do it this week. Like, we have some stuff, obviously. Like, there's the curtains and the kitchen. But that's just, like, stuff I recently bought. The other stuff is in the garage. And it's, like, harder for me to get to that right now because I have all that dog stuff in the garage. So, our plan is to do it on the 27th, I believe, because um, I wanted to clean my son's room. And I did that this weekend. I guess that's one of the things that we did. I cleaned out my, or we cleaned out my son's room, um, Carlos and I. So that was crazy because, you know, it's like, I grew up like poor, pretty much. I mean, we had things, but like at the same time, it was just like a bunch of used stuff or I don't know. I don't know. I feel like when I grew up, like other kids, like they had things or new clothes and they always would brag about it. Kind of like bully type stuff. And yeah, so I guess a part of me wants to 
get my son things. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's like a coping because of all that stuff. But regardless, it's like gotten out of hand. My son has way too much stuff. Like, way too much stuff. And we recently have been taking like tote containers full, like huge, like massive containers full of toys and stuff out of his room. And just the uh, this past weekend, so I've taken out three huge like garbage black bags full of stuffed animals and then three huge container, tote containers full of toys. And that's just like, he still has stuff in his room. Like, he has his cubbies full of stuff. He has like this ball pit thing. He's really into monster trucks and then like Duplo, Legos, Legos, and pretend like food, doctor stuff, like shopping and that kind of thing. So that's like all the stuff that we kept this time around because... Um, I don't know. Christmas is coming. We wanted to get the room clean before the holiday because who wants to get more toys when you already know you have too many toys? Yeah, so that was great. I don't know. I just feel like it's a problem, but for some reason it just continues. Mm. But he does, um, yeah, I'd say it's a problem because every time we go to the store or go anywhere, he's like always asking for something. And maybe it's just because he's like at a certain age. I don't know. If you guys have any kids that are around the same age, like four years old, do you go through the same things like where it's just like seems like this constant desire to want but then when he gets everything, he he doesn't even play with it. Or like he'll want something, like food. I'll make it for him. And then he just doesn't want to eat it. So I don't know. It's either like he's always saying things like, oh, it's disgusting. Oh, it's gross. <laughs> like, oh my God. Some days it drives me crazy because... As a mother, I'm just trying to like do things for him, to cook for him, to make sure he's fed, you know, has clothes, clean, has, you know, whatever he wants, I guess. And I guess it's hard some days because he's at like a stage where he doesn't want or he doesn't communicate with me. Or he just like straight up ignores me. And it's kind of frustrating, but I don't know. It's funny because I'll do it. Sometimes I'll just like pretend like I'm doing it too. And he kind of, he gets frustrated with me. So it's funny. But yeah. I'm not sure what I want to wear today, like makeup wise. Not sure. I got this new, like I got new mascara, but like, I don't know. It's kind of like the brush is kind of hard. I don't really like those brushes. I like the ones that are kind of like, um, I don't even, more like a brush instead of like a plastic. I don't really like the plastic because it hurts. I don't really wear that much makeup anyways because it bothers my eyes. 
And I really think that the more makeup you wear, like you age, like I see people wearing some makeup and I'm like, eh, it kind of makes you look like you're older. Why, why wear that? You know, makeup, some makeup, I know like some people can do like crazy makeup where it like looks them, makes them look like they're a totally different person. But at the same time, number one, it doesn't last. And two, it like, yeah, it just like, it doesn't last. And then it's like, I don't know. I think it makes them look like shit. <laughs> I don't like it, but to each their own, right? Like here I am putting on some makeup. I guess I just do it because it makes me feel like I did something at least a little bit to be presentable for my day. Uh, but yeah, I just like, I don't see the point of putting like a whole fucking face of makeup on. Like it's, I don't know. It's like, yuck. And then you break out in acne and zits. Who, I don't know why. Who wants that? I sure as hell don't want acne. Yuck. But, like I said, to each their own, if they like putting on makeup and having to, uh, take care of their skin otherwise, as far as like, um, um, you know, having to take care of acne, I guess, break out. Some things are like hormonal too, like, you know, acne is kind of hormonal in a sense. It can be from hormones. Yeah, so the goal today, like, yeah, see this brush? It's like plastic and it hurts. It hurts my eyes. Who likes uh, um, goal? Just chill out a little bit, keep the house clean, do my meal prep. My washer's running, so. I was thinking about filming me. I think I might like prep the chicken a little bit before I start. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. But like my washer's running, so I don't wanna like, you know, film that because who wants to hear my freaking washer? in the background my washer's in my kitchen i have no idea why i think it's like a a southern thing to have your appliances in the kitchen i don't know maybe it's because like uh they figure you know a woman's place is in the kitchen no, I'm just kidding. it's pro pro <laughs> That's probably what it is. It has to be because I spend a lot of time in the kitchen doing dishes, cooking, cleaning. Oh my God. I, just, I want to try to video like how much I actually do in one whole day. Cause I'm quite curious what it looks like from like a different perspective. I'm curious because I feel like I do a lot in a day like um as far as like I wake up you know to take, take care of myself a little bit not completely just a little and then I um get going with my day like I make coffee, I let the dogs out, I feed the dogs. Sometimes I can do more, like drink my coffee, but some days I just don't get that far. My daughter will wake up, 
change her, feed her, hang out with her, we play. And then in the mix of all that, sometimes I like start a load of laundry, maybe pick up the clothes that my son left lying around the house, pick up toys, yada, yada. I don't know. That's just the start. That's not even, you know, that's not even like to right now, eight o'clock. It's more like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that is so crazy. You know, I just got these glasses and they're already like bent. I gotta bring them in to get fixed because they definitely are bent. I would wear contacts, but I did the other day and it like, I don't know what's going on with my eyes, but they have not been liking contacts. It's like, maybe it's the contact brand, but it's making them like itchy and red and irritated. It's painful. I don't like it. Um, here's to glasses. Maybe LASIK, I don't know. If there's anybody out there that has had LASIK, I'm just curious, like the longevity of it. Does it last? Do you have to like get multiple surgeries done? Like where they, you know, kind of scrape your eyelid like do they have to do that numerous times or is it just like a one and done thing for some people because if that's the case I might do it yeah because who wants to wear glasses all the time <laughs> not me it's a pain in the ass mostly because like you have to do stuff like this you have to wash your glasses and it would be so nice if you could just like not have to do that. I usually just use rubbing alcohol and a towel. I don't know. It's probably the best way. If I don't do it this way, it's it like streaky. Greasy streaks, dirty streaks. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm glad my kids stayed asleep. I'm not doing anything with my hair. Just because I really don't feel like I have to, fortunately. I mean, it's a little messy, my curls, but yeah. I don't know, I've learned to like love my hair natural i did cut it i don't know you probably can't really tell but i cut my own hair been doing it forever but yeah i just kind of trimmed there's a little bit length difference i kind of just give it a nice trim so that way i don't have like tangly hair because when i let it grow out a little bit it kind of gets like the ends Get like a little tingly, oh yeah. And I'm not wearing anything fancy today, just kind of like, I don't know if you can see leggings. Yeah, anyways, so the washing machine is still running. So I think I'm going to just post this video and then I will post another video of me doing the meal prep for this week but yeah hopefully you guys are having a good week and you are gonna have a nice thanksgiving um for everybody that does watch these videos thank you for your support and your subscriptions i appreciate it and i hope you guys have a nice day thanks for watching bye